sister Cindy. She is here to do some good old-fashioned swap My husband, brother Jed, and I have been preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ on campuses for almost five decades. So generally, we preach in the Midwest in the fall and then in the winter and spring we preach in the southern states. We have been to probably over 500 campuses. I think Sister Cindy is in some ways informative because she thinks she's being informative but what college students actually think is more performative and for entertainment. College kids come to see her for entertainment purposes. No, I think the satire is what has gotten the attention of multitudes. And many people have made the decision to truly be a honomo. I have people messaging me every day and saying, Sister Cindy, I've made that decision to believe in Jesus, to be a honomo. I love her. She's great. It's the energy, she brings so much energy. I think that Sister Cindy thinks she's informative, but she's just entertainment to the rest of us. You know, don't be swayed by the crowd. There are always those who want to know God and want to serve God. And now, there are more than ever. But I'm not against making profit. I'm, I'm all for it. Hey, this is Generation Z. We're into, uh, you all are into making money. Yes, I have... Um, merch you can go to my link in my bio TikTok or Instagram Honomo t-shirts also hell is hot don't be a thought yeah. and uh, also I was slut shamed by sister Cindy yeah. a lot of us have seen her already on TikTok so I'm not sure how much more we're being informed um, but it's always nice to hear new ideas so I don't Judge. Okay, I think Cindy tries to be informative, but it comes about it the wrong way. It's love. It's tough love. Sometimes people need tough love. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. My message to the students is Sister Cindy really loves you, but Jesus loves you more. So, 